This is my territory, I'll defend it with pride So I close one eye and, and just let it fly I pop them in the chest, they fell back a little So I aimed for their forehead and shot right in the middle Hi guys, Wayne here for the Let's Play Kit Gaming Channel and today I am going to show you a guide on the outpost system in the Zombie Apocalypse Simulation Experience from Undead Labs, State of Decay. As soon as you finish the prologue, the game throws you right into the midst of survival's merciless grasp, giving you objectives and things to do without really telling you how to do them. However, this is all part of the realism. You have to put yourself on a learning curve and teach yourself how to do things, just like you would in a real zombie apocalypse. One of the things you can do is set up outposts. So, exactly what are outposts, why are they useful, and how do you go about setting them up? In State of Decay, an outpost is basically the equivalent of a bank or storage locker on the go. You are able to set up four outposts per home camp you have, and once you have established an outpost, whenever you visit them, you are able to access your main storage locker that is way back at your base. This means, for example, if you set up an outpost near the ranger station at Mount Tanner, an outpost way out in the countryside, an outpost somewhere else deep in the depths of the Z Apocalypse, you basically have access to your storage on the go, wherever you go. The way I like to set it up is, four corners of the map, four different outposts, one in each corner. Of course, when you decide to move home, you can move your outpost too, if you so desire. And it is entirely up to you, of course, where you choose to set up your outposts. Also guys, keep in mind that this game also implements a home moving system. Once you are able to move to a bigger home, you gain more outpost capacity which means you can set up even more outposts over the world. So, now that you know about the flawless usefulness of the outpost system, exactly how do you go about establishing one? Well, it's actually very easy. On your map you will see explorable areas. These can be anything from regular houses, cabins, gas stations, pubs and bars, country shacks, construction sites and more. Basically, any building that you can go into and search, you can set up as an outpost. To do so, you first need to pick the outpost that you want. For simplicity's sake, in this video I am setting up right beside the home camp, but you can always hit the select button and select your waypoint to go to the outpost that you wish to set up. Now for a step by step guide on establishing outposts. First you need to go to the building you wish to use as an outpost. Second you need to clear that area of zombies. Third you need to search all of the searchable areas such as medicine cabinets, cupboards, refrigerators and backpacks. Fourth, once everything has been searched and all zombies are dead, press down on the d-pad to radio back to base. Fifth, select to establish an outpost. You will then gain immediate access to your storage locker for this outpost. Now that the outpost is established, it also functions as a safe zone, meaning zombies will no longer spawn in or directly too close to the area within the red circle on the minimap. However, they will still willingly follow you back to camp, so remember to always use stealth, care and caution, even when visiting safe zones such as outposts. In conclusion guys, the outpost system is an incredibly handy feature that will certainly aid your apocalyptic escapades greatly. Believe me, once you start exploring the huge open world and you see exactly how much there is to forage and send back to camp in terms of resources, weapons and food, you will be very, very grateful for the outpost system as it enables you to access camp without having to head all the way back home. That's all there is to it folks and I really hope you've found this guide helpful. Until next time my friends, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more State of Decay guides and content. Wayne here for the Let's Play Cat Gaming Channel, saying goodbye.